Well, you know, I, I think you hit on a good point because, uh, and I've said this on here before, we're all the weirdos here. Everybody watching this, are, are we're the outliers because we want to understand more about the topics. We wouldn't be here otherwise. 99.999% of the population, they're just doing whatever it is that they have to do to get through the day. They got the job, the kids, the whatever. They don't have the time or the, the headspace to, to actually sit down and like we're doing right now because, you know, there's so many other things going on in the world in their own personal lives. I'm, I'm just like it, but I try to make the time, right? Uh, but we're definitely the outliers. So, you know, what I would say to that is be vocal. Like I'm as vocal as vocal can be on my social media, my Facebook, Twitter, whatever it is. I want to make people know what's what the real stories are out there. Uh, and I'll, I'll do it with my friends on Facebook, you name it, my, my family. Uh, you know, I'm... I, I just try to get the information out there because I know that they're not going to get it through traditional means. And that's I'm, all I can do as one person. And, uh, and Krista Freeland too, Nanya, I've been seeing you on Twitter. You've been yelling at that bitch for months, man. <laughs> uh, she's, she's fun. <laughs> so, so like more, mean, more monitors blocked me on Twitter. I, I was shocked. I was like, what? Since since when did I offended him? So apparently I heard that he's Lebanese and you know maybe I said something about Lebanon. Um because I was I'm critical about Lebanon because they have no sovereignty, they have no idea how to control their own country. They allow Hezbollah to just run riot around this country. And maybe that was what you no know, offended him. And but you see the, the hard stuff when you say it out, no, you're gonna trigger people. And I'm constantly triggering people about the Israeli Hamas war. It's very, very funny. It's like, like no one can accept a alternate yeah. point of view. The and truth is painful, way. man, you know. And people, uh, some people tend to have cognitive dissonance. Yeah, cognitive man. Dissonance. Uh, you awesome. don't you, you, uh, throw the facts yeah. in order to not get your reality destroyed. So cognitive dissonance. Uh, otherwise, our interest uh, searching the truth. That's what I believe we are doing here. And that's why we are here, because we are looking for alternative sources of information in order to find the truth, because the truth is what is important. That's where the power lies. Everything else, it's a lie. Lie, it's fake. Fake doesn't have any power. The truth is a godly thing, and we cannot change it. Yeah. The only that we're looking for is to find the truth from, from you know, the not non-biased sources, meaning... I, I, I like that you. Absolutely right. I, I like I, that I think, you use the. Oh, go ahead. Oh, thank you, man. Um, I, I think that what you're what you're getting at is that democracy is failing, right? Democracy is based on the idea of everybody being an informed voter and understanding what's going on and making a decision uh, on on who to vote for based on the reality of the world. But the truth is that it's not so. It's, it's what's happening. People are making their decisions based on what the media is giving to them, by and large, and the majority of people vote based on what the media tells them. So I think that what we're moving towards is a system where democracy fails and where we're going to have kind of a two-tiered society between people that are aware of the truth and people who aren't, right? Mm -hmm. Similar to the old feudal society where you had aristocrats and peasants and peasants simply had no education, whereas this aristocrats at least knew something about the world around them. Uh, I don't think it's going to be quite like that, but I think that one of the big differences between the people who are on top and the people who are below and the vast majority of people are going to be below is going to be whether you can think for yourself or whether you are more interested in simply falling into an ideology, especially these days when the algorithm can see that you're interested in an ideology and then push you into it by giving you everything that you want to make you want to be in that ideology, right? If you're pro-Ukrainian, I mean, you're going to see nothing but Dennis Davidov videos. And the same applies if you're pro-Russian, right? You can see a lot of very, uh, you know, very strongly pro-Russian videos that are that are also you know, I think less ridiculous than the pro-Ukrainian side, but, you know, if you're not looking at both sides, you're going to lose in the long run. You know, you're not going to make it. And, uh, yeah, I think it's, it's really important as we move into an era where democracy begins to fail. Um, if you want to be on top, you should become a free thinker or try to be anyway. Great times to be alive. Yeah, it is. I mean, Go ahead, I, Nico. I, I completely have to agree in this um 
case, uh, well, everything what Archimedes said, I mean, algorithm is pushing everyone in their own bubble. And um, it already starts with typing some things on YouTube, searching for some things that the algorithm is looking for how you behave and stuff like that, pushing you into a bubble. And that's a really big problem. Why especially, uh, why it has uh, problems on gaining huge audience is that he is unbiased so the algorithm can't put you into a certain bubble to give you audience so and that's a huge problem we are facing especially in the current diplomatic situation around the world um in both wars palestine israel and uh, ukrainian and russian war and i can completely agree and that's what i wanted to say so thank you archimedes you basically said what i wanted to say <laughs> yeah I, I, I for, forever i cannot get used to nico wearing the pink hit yeah man. and then his voice is super deep he's like <laughs> that, that, yeah, is, um, that is as bad as no um, trying to read twitter, I mean, no twitter tweets i mean nico, just, like a, into it, man. just get some cat ears to put on that headset Nah, I, I just I just bought it. I just bought it because it was like twenty bucks cheaper than the black one or the green one. So and I was broke at the time, so I just bought the pink one. But appreciate it. But but it's good branding. It's nice. No people will remember you for that. Yeah, for sure. Woke hats are color forever. Yeah. Some like I'm always saying in the voice chat, somebody has to be gay for the audience. You know. <laughs> No, uh, I want to mean that's not uh, born? <laughs> <laughs> that's he got it. Representation. 